Hi Cancer, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Cancer, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Cancer. at the bottom of the deck we have the queen of wands and this is fire energy sagittarius aries leo energy so this is a very uh very fiery passionate energy this is a very attractive energy so if somebody is seeing in you in this light this is them being very attracted to you seeing you as very desirable um this is a, an energy of them liking you for it's like yes desirability is based on your your physical appearance they like it but there's also this energy of liking your essence liking your personality um how you carry yourself um possibly even your style your, your style of dress um it's just very attractive it's like you are very attracted to this person and um I, I do see them feeling very drawn towards you wanting to be around you even seeing you as inspiring okay so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this cancer okay so we have the seven of cups and this is water energy next we have the death card scorpio energy so you could be dealing with scorpio and finally, we have the Knight of Wands, fire energy. So again, we're seeing this passionate energy. Someone here is you, you've really got this person's attention. Um, that with the Knight of Wands, this is definitely someone who's um, you know, desiring you heavily. And um, this is someone who wants to pursue. This is someone who goes after what they want. This is someone who's quite confident, a very bold energy. Um, this person could be wanting to start something with you. Um, but because you have the death card next to this, it, it does look like this could be someone who you did know you did have some sort of passionate affair with this person or situation with this person um, but with them showing up as a knight of wands this can be someone who was non-committal or inconsistent um, they're very good at starting things this is someone who's very passionate very much a go-getter they can make you feel very special almost like you're in a fantasy or a dream come true with the seven of cups here but something about it is just that it's like a fantasy and um, it could have been quite short-lived with this person and it could have come to an end it could have been like a passionate fling is what i'm seeing um and you know it's like you could have accepted this ending with you being in the queen of wands it does look like you have options it looks like you're very desirable you're very attractive and um you're not looking at this knights of wands it's like you may be focused on other things this could be your own passion projects your own uh, you may even have other people that you have already moved on to but there's this energy of you not being phased by this person it's like you you're not really that bothered by them even if they are um inconsistent or non-committal it's like they don't have your attention um but you have their attention and with the death card and rebirth here yeah, and the knight of wands it does look like this person may be wanting to re-spark an old flame there's this energy of this person wanting to um return to experience your your to experience you again uh to have some sort of passion with you to re revive a situation here okay so let's clarify these cards um cancer
Yes, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Wands, and this is Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. So this is, again, this energy of you coming out on top, you looking like a winner, you looking really good. You're, this person is seeing you as a prize. They want to be in your energy. This is definitely someone who sees you um, as someone who's doing well for themselves. So you could be succeeding in all other areas, um, but there's just something about you that looks like you're um, celebrating an accomplishment and um, you're thriving at this time um, so I do see again an energy of attention coming your way this person you have their full attention so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this so we have the wheel of fortune and this is fixed sign energy Taurus Leo Aquarius Scorpio energy next we have the six of pentacles earth energy and finally we have the lovers Gemini energy so you could be dealing with a Gemini Okay, so there's this energy with the wheel of fortune of somebody who is, um, you know, it's like a situation. It's like, you know, with this person here, they, they're coming in out of nowhere. It's like you, this is not someone who you can predict. So there's something quite flighty about their energy. They, they come and they go and you can never really, you know, tie this person down, you know, a very free spirited person here. Um, and with the wheel of fortune, it does look like they're coming your way out of nowhere or unexpectedly. You're not expecting this person. In fact, you're focusing on other things um, and you may not even be aware that this person is really focused on you right now. Um, this person, I do see them wanting to be quite generous to you. When they come in, they'll be very giving um, with the six of pentacles. And um, this person, again, it's like they want to... Um, get you to be vulnerable or they want to share an intimate moment with you they want to be intimate with you with the lovers here they they definitely want to be with you experience you and um, get closer to you um, you know revive that passion um, so i do see here someone who is definitely going to put in efforts to try to win you over here because we have the six of pentacles which is a generous energy so this person could offer you um, a gift they may offer you an experience but there's this energy of them trying to win you over putting in efforts to get you to be um you know to accept them or to get closer to them to be vulnerable with them or intimate with them with the lovers here okay so this person is very much desiring you at this moment okay so i'm going to pull out an oracle card for you cancer So the card says balance, spirituality, and practicality. Full moon in Pisces. Okay, so with this person, when they come in, there is this energy of not to get swept away in this person. This does look like a person who can have that effect. Um, but there is a need to also be practical, um, you know, when it comes to this person, not to get lost in the passion. Because it does look like this person is coming in very hot and heavy. Um, but there's the need to balance that uh, spirituality and practicality so that you can make sure that you're seeing this person clearly. Um, because again, we're not seeing cards of someone who is going to be consistent. Um, even though they could be, there's a chance that they won't be because they are still showing up as a knight of wands. Okay, so let's see what I'm going to pull out another card for you, Cancer. So the card says religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So again, we're seeing that energy of spirituality. So there is this need to also trust your intuition when it comes to the situation. Um, you know, because there is also, you know, with the seven of cups showing up there, it's like, don't let this person sell you a dream. Um, but at the same time, trust your um your intuition, um, because there is this energy of you knowing best when it comes to the situation. Um, but I, I do also see with this energy as um, someone who is also going to be quite um, apologetic or affectionate towards you. 
it's like they're going to be trying to win your favor and this could be in the form of them apologizing for something or repenting here yeah. okay so i'm going to pull out another card for you um cancer So the card says false indigo emotion and intuition when you reach the end of what you should know you will be at the beginning of what you should sense so again there's that message of intuition trusting your intuition um, with this person um, there's this energy to not rely only on their words or their actions your intuition knows best trust yourself and again um, there's this energy with this uh, six of pentacles showing up here there's this energy of not giving too quickly to this person, um, almost like um, analyzing this person or listening to your intuition about how you feel about the situation, but almost having to practice discernment with this person. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Cancer. I hope you have a really, really good day, Cancer. Bye, Cancer.